Um, I'm going to let them do so first. Okay, all of you have heard of our sonic wall. You yeah. use our firewalls. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for being our loyal customer. Right. So I'm going to give you. A, I'm Sanjay Agarwal. I am part of product management team on the network security. I own all of uh, security management products and the firewalls. Uh, but I'm going to provide you an update on an entire portfolio. We have some exciting. Uh, so far, firewall coming out. We have we acquired a company called um, Bandon Security about six months ago. We, that product called so the whole GTN SASE offering or SSC offering. So I'm going to give you an update on that. Uh, please stop me any questions in any time in, in between if you have any questions. So quick agenda. So where what's the real what, what's the landscape of network security looking like, right? So as I mean, we have seen this live during COVID. People became hyper. Every became, everyone was working remotely. There's no, uh, I mean, now that people, uh, companies are asking to, be, to come to work, people are saying, okay, I'll work three days here, two days at home, three days work, it's getting hybrid. There's no network parameter. Security needs to uh, adhere to the, net, the no network parameter uh, use case. Enforcement points and evolving. One thing that is happening is your control point is shifting from your end to two play to two locations. One is at the endpoint of the user, and one is going to the applications. As more and more applications move to the cloud, it's no longer data bounded by data center boundary. The traditional VPNs don't work anymore. So, what's the solution? We have to, uh, that network that is changing into security landscape, right? This weird policy with multiple enforcement point firewalls. You have uh, access, like access control security. You have other security. Your number policy becomes. How do you maintain it and adhere to what your enforcement policy parameters are? The other uh, management complexity, right? Every product. I mean, including us, we have this complexity around management, which is every uh, enforcement point has their own management application. So it, you will have to learn as an IT admin, learn each application and to, uh, to basically manage it or, or manage your enforcement point. That was a lot of uh, uh, inefficiencies in day-to-day -day management. Real-time data efficient monitoring is becoming a need for all the hour. And data is going down because everything is becoming a CTP strap. Right, so you cannot see encrypted traffic. So unless you are using securities like VPN to serve another to decrypt the packet, you don't know what's going on in the URL where you where the users are going. Right. So our vision for network firewall. What is our vision? We need to provide a our offering should be hardware virtual as a service uh, with a unified management and policy, with consistent enforcement and services and flexible licensing. Consumption model has to be flexible because if, if your price points are not, um, or your model or your bundles are not adhering to what your customers and partners are requiring, then it will not work. So we make sure that we drive up, driving towards ease of use, giving you investment protection and agility for today's evolving threat landscape. Right. So we have an entire breadth of portfolio: secure SD WAN for branch deployment, secure, secure mobile access for hybrid users. Secure hybrid and multi-cloud deployments, right? So that's what we're going to talk about. Secure access and secure all things with one management plane and a global threat intelligence. I mean, I, you must have heard about uh, our uh, uh, threat uh, researchers that Sonic Wall has behind. Like we, I think we have, um, I don't know how many, I forgot the total number, millions of, we collect thousands of records and millions of records from all the endpoints that are deployed in all around the world from Sonic Wall or from our customers. And we do this, you see, uh, uh, half-yearly threat reports from Sonic Wall. How do we collect the data? That is all global threat intelligence. When we collect the data, we analyze the data to see what kind of threat uh, is evolving. And then we can make sure it's a consistent experience, right? Across appliances, your virtual appliances, and as a service. So that's our vision for network security. What is our portfolio? So you you, have, you know about NSVC, right? This is we put uh, so we have uh, uh, that can on Nutanix KVM with Amazon, 
We are working on additional advancements in this area. We'll be, you'll be hearing those news kind of in the coming months where there will be new NSV offerings coming from, uh, from SonicWall. You can deploy in public cloud or private cloud um, from one to eight GBPS of threat performance. The TZ series, one of the most popular uh, firewall model, right? Because um, uh, it's, it is it, it caters from a very low end SMB market for like a Soho kind of a firewall all the way to the TZ670 is actually catered to a mid, mid enterprise kind of a environment as well from a threat protection and GBPS performance, right? Uh, you will hear it very soon. We are launching an IoT. So, how many of you are aware of Soho? The Soho firewall that uh, Sonic Ball had. The Gen 6 old ones, the single small office home markets. So that is very refreshed with a new uh, hardware called TZ80, which is be launching beginning of November, which will replace our new IoT firewalls. We had replaced all our older firewalls with Gen 7 firewall that was done in 2020. It's been almost close to five, four and a half years now. That caters to all your a standard uh, your uh, assembly market deployment. For the mid-market and mid-enterprise and branch deployment, we have the NSA cities, like the 2700s, all the way to 6700s. And then we have the large data center firewall for distributed enterprise. Uh, one of the big use cases around uh, uh, large schools, right? They'll deploy the, to the high-end and firewalls for high throughput and threat protection, uh, high throughput threat protection. And then, this is what we're going to talk about, touch upon, which is called Cloud Secure Edge. This is a new evolve, evolving where uh, Sonic Wall has introduced what's called the ZTNA offering, right? The Zero Trust Network Access. So, but that has built in the whole SSC solution, the, uh, uh, what do we call is the Security Services Edge, which includes not only your uh, connectivity to the, to the application, but also security on top of it, right? So, uh, we'll talk more about that. So, that's our portfolio from a network security perspective. There's one more change that is happening, and this is something that we announced at RFC of this year. And today, as I said, complexity of management is 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 uh, challenging because if you have multiple applications you're managing with, you have to your admins have to learn each and every application, right? So it is today it is a siloed management. What we are coming out with is what Personic Platform 1.0, where we bring in some of those some of this individual application as a as a application that will launch from one center place. So we have MySonic Wall, we have uh, Network Security Manager. Anybody have or heard of these applications? Anybody use Wireless Network Manager, Network Security Manager here? No? Okay. So anyway, so uh, we have all these ma management applications. So we will bring all that into what's called Sonic Platform 1.0 and eventually it will become a unified application altogether. That's our vision. So our current product that we have been what's called the network security manager, which is a management application for available both in cloud and SAP, uh, on prem, <coughs> will transition into into the Sonic platform. So there will be a huge uplift in the user interface. There will be huge uplift in the work, user workflows. This is getting this is under works currently. This product is going undergoing beta, and once the beta comes out, this will be launched to, to our customers right, and partners. So that's where evolution is happening from a from uh, from an, uh, from Sonic Wall side right? to to go into uh, a unified portal. Any questions before I get into the cloud secure edge? No. Which firewall models have we deployed on Sonic Wall so far? Anybody even can give me some names or models. Uh, the TZ series. You have the TZ series. Yeah. Which? I don't know. Very useful. Okay. Yeah. I haven't oh. worked on it in a while. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you should relook at the portfolio in, in multiple ways because this, the new TZs, um, I mean, the Gen 7 TZ that we launched in 2020, the one we are coming out with, which is called TZ80. I mean, from its SMB perspective, small office, home office is a perfect fit. I mean, one one thing is one GBPS of threat protection, right? So I mean, if you are if you are in a, Small office, like few few users behind it, one a with a one gig uh, Comcast or some other internet bandwidth coming in. That's good for good protection for 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 your users. Okay, okay. so that was about network security portfolio. Uh, what is CSE Cloud Secure Edge? What is the enable your users to securely access any resources from any device? Okay, prevent eighty percent of modern attacks in your workplace. What does this statement really? Mean? It's a cloud. Uh, delivered security. What it is is, so 
how many of you have heard about zero trust, net, zero trust access or zero trust ZTNA, network access? All of you, right? Sa uh, you, have you heard the term SACSI or SASE, Secure Access, Secure Edge, or SSE, Secure Services Edge? Anybody? So ZTNA is the starting point, right? That one, first you have to get access into a, uh, to a uh, environment where you, the policy is defined, which so, in the old tra tradition security was the pol policy determined where the enforcement of security is happening at the one point, right? Where you say, okay, user X or user Sanjay has, can, once I have VPN access, I can access any application behind that. Uh, where, so I'm logging in, I'm going to my corporate network. I mean, there will be some additional checks and balances, but I'll be part of a user group and all that stuff. And I'll, I'll try to access that. If I have access, everybody who has access, part of the user group will have access to that application. What ZTN has done is, as I said, control is shifting from endpoint to the endpoint or to the application. So now I can say with this that, oh, Sanjay only has access to product management application that he works on a day to day basis. He does not know anything about He is not part of the finance application. He cannot see it. He's, he cannot have access to certain applications. And when he goes to the internet applications as well, he has restricted access to certain areas. All that is through cloud secure. It is cloud delivered. There's nothing to deploy. You are, I mean, you are, uh, and I'll come to that. We have done one more enhancement, which allows so if you buy some call firewall, you don't really need any client. Today, ZTNA requires an endpoint client to be installed to initiate your client connection, like an, a, a connection which is called the, the VPN connection, the wireguard connection to the cloud uh, delivered point, right? To the to the endpoint where if your terminal VPN is going to terminate, and then based on the policy, it gives access to the resources. With cloud delivered internet routing and zero trust security with CSC. You don't need to deploy anything. And the advancement we did when we launched CSC with Firewall, if you're running a Sonic Wall Firewall Gen 7, so your Sonic Wall Firewall becomes a gateway for, for, all, for all that connections. So, use cases for CSC. Modernized Firewall is VPN with ZTN. So, you no longer require a, the traditional IPsec VPN to have access to your resources from. Uh, your location to the uh, to your re to the application that you're accessing. Protect against internet threats and credential compromise because we have yeah, all your. So well, how do you protect? Right, we have uh, all the checks and balances on top of it. Like for example, you'll have your uh, content printer, you'll have uh, CASP, you know, and all that services on top, which will allow you to say, hey, what is what is that? And then secure high risk user, third parties, in whether you're bringing a uh, on device or doing an MA. This is a very important use case. So, if any companies are acquiring, this will become, uh, this will be important use case for you to think about the CSE. Don't look at the old VPN, which is, again, depending on how many sites you're connecting, that scale, it can sometimes become unmanageable for you, right? You don't need to manage so many VPN connectors. What happens? The VPN goes down, right? These are all. They have built built in checks and balances that allow you to reconnect. And it will be only it will be done when the user is connecting to the application, right? So that's when the weekend will be established. What's the problem? So I think this slide covers the the wider old uh, security model doesn't work. Legacy VPN, complex to manage, as I just talked about, with hardware and network policy. We have to first say, okay, I have to deploy hardware, but uh, uh, initiator point, like peer to peer, right? Even if you're doing site to site VPN or you're doing hub and spoke VPN, you need to have this endpoint that are terminating those VPN. So some hardware to terminate. Always doing patch management. We always been creating VPN policies or network policy and what resources are allowed to access. In this case, you will say user X has only access to these resources. We don't have to keep doing that. That once we have defined, doesn't matter where the user is coming from, that enforcement will have always be applied to, uh, uh, will be entered to and, and, and enforced. Poor uh, old VPN, okay, unreliable user slow and drop connections, and then security, broad network access and lateral movement. One day, this was another important one, one time authorization. This is a very key point on GTMA offering. In, in the SASE world or SC world, Every time the user finds your application, there's an authentication and authorization happening. VPN, you have authorized one as a user, and you log in as a user of VPN, you, are, you have full access into the network. So this is where uh, SC comes into picture. Whether you're a partner, a contractor, developer, remote worker, office worker, whatever you are, 
the VPN is can allow you to access any application, any website, software service, infrastructure service, and on-premise application. There's one there you don't need to read. You don't need to connect this worker to this endpoint termination point to do application extra on-premise. You don't need to do you don't have to do any termination point for infrastructure service. It's all handled at the routing level. It's intelligent routing, intelligent policy making that lets based on the user credential, based on user authentication and authorization, what the system said, okay, this is what you are allowed access to. We'll automatically route the traffic to based on where which where you are trying to access. So that's the whole uh, 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 solution of the offering uh, SASE provides or, or, or Cloud Secure Edge provides, right? So Cloud Secure Edge uh, is a SSC. So this is what I was talking about. Whether you're on-term network, infrastructure service, software as a service, or internet websites, everything is can be handled through uh, our VPN offering or SASE offering. VPN as a service. You can, what it means is, for any on-prem networks, a user, this will you can have as as a what as a service mean, at a time when uh, you can deploy whenever the user needs to go to on-prem networks, the VPN connectivity is going to be available. They will be able to work for VPN as a service, right? You are you want to make sure that any resources in cloud, AWS, Google, any other infrastructure in the cloud, infrastructure cloud, you need a zero trust settlement for tax. So that is becomes an infrastructure reserve. So when you have applications deployed in AWS and other places, this this uh, via <clears throat> VPN offering will allow you to connect to those applications. You have soft software as a service. You have Workday, Office 365, uh, Salesforce, all these applications sitting in cloud. What is that becomes is a cloud access security broker. So based on if it is cloud access security broker, based on the application. What security services do I need to uh, uh, apply in order to access the application? And then secure web gateway, SWG. So if you're going uh, to Netflix and YouTube or CNN as a user, our software web, secure web gateway, which is going to do URL filtering, it's going to look at um, uh, content filtering. Based on that, you can apply uh, additional security policies on top of it. So all this as a, uh, all combined into one is what the cloud secure edges. Any questions? Make sense? Right? So this is what our secure services edge offering is. What are the benefits? Okay, it's easy to manage. How is it? It's cloud deployed. You don't, you're not deploying any infrastructure in your environment to enable. All you have to do is buy the user licenses from Sony Posing and how many users I want to go and enable this cloud at, uh, edge part. So simple cloud-based policy for multi and environment, right? One click deployment, because again, yes, you in the traditional SASE world, you have to deploy an endpoint, we have to deploy a client, which will initiate the VPN connection. But this is also a one-time deployment, easy to my integrate with existing tools, IDP, DDR, and uh, what is the endpoint detection response, MDM is uh, uh, mobile data management plan for any IDP intrusion detection and prevention, right? Well, these terms are there for security, or these are all security teams. But it is very easy to manage, fast and reliable connectivity. What it means is, okay, it's traditional IPsec has a lot of overhead, right? I mean, I don't know how many of you don't know the internals of IPsec as a protocol, there's a phase one, phase two, all these negotiations keep happening. In this, it's a wire guard, simple, uh, simple protocol to connect, uh, to offer a reliable connectivity at all the time with no drop connection, uh, scaling. See, one more important thing that cloud offers is what's called uh, uh, auto scale capability. What it means is based on, uh, which is not traditionally possible in an on-prem deployment, the reason being, yeah, you have fixed memory, fixed hardware, uh, CPU and all the resources. Cloud, it's very easy. Uh, as as your resource requirements increase, you auto deploy some of these resources in the package. It's auto scales or elastic. It's called elastic scaling. The cloud to put no concurrent user limit, right? So any number of users can go. In. So for example, uh, this was I mean a good example will be when COVID hit, March 2020. Everybody is working from home. People offices have um, our old SMA. I mean I will give you an example. SMA devices. 
they had a user limit okay how, how many users can connect suddenly everybody's connecting from home to this because if you're in office you're, you're not going to disseminate from a routing policy when covid hit everybody's working home suddenly the license requirements to increase the number of users increase but this will give you last there's no concurrent user limit so number of connections that can come in at the same time is auto scaling as as the user uh, comes in global infrastructure with high availability it's cloud at the end of the day so we have high available you are not deploying a one box and the second box is a ha unit it's auto scale it, uh, the infrastructure is, is is automatically backed up with high availability right and then zero trust security this is the most important one find way access control advanced device posture so there's also device posture management what device posture tells you is for example if your endpoint or your laptop is not run, <clears throat> company says you must have, um, for example, for us, we have an antivirus program that uh, our capture client is as uh, an endpoint um, uh, enforcement, as uh, an endpoint uh, client is running on my laptop all the time, right? My company uh, says if you're not running capture client, you cannot in access internal resources. This is what advanced device for management means. So you can enforce what the client uh, endpoint should be running as an antivirus software. What other things it should be running before they can even connect to the VPN. So before they can connect to the VPN, this is zero trust network. So there's no zero trust means I don't trust you anytime. I only trust you what I, you are allowed to be trusted for. Right? That's what zero trust security is all the time. Right? And then real, real time business policy enforcement. So that is. Because we are saying you as a user only when we say rather, rather than having a static policy, okay, policy is always static to some extent, you keep evolving. But you don't have to keep changing your policy based on uh, different user profiles. You can say, hey, these users have access to this application and it will become dynamic. It's a real time continuous policy on enforcement. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. You're coming from your mobile device. Half my work is done on my mobile most of the time because I, if I'm not, I'm on the road. Like I was writing an email to my boss when I was standing in the booth, uh, half an hour, right? Uh, I, I may be, and half the time we're only checking our mobile all the time to just do all the work. I mean, I have my team calls, I have my emails here. All that protection is going to happen through zero touch, right? Uh, with, with zero touch security. How it works? The user, you have these different applications, internet website, SaaS application, IS, social private application, on prem resource. A user tries, a user is coming, uh, what's called a dynamic edge, right? So a user wants to use, uh, Work on a partner, he wants to access an application. Cloud Command Center, you say, oh, resource and application discovery, what's called SVC. They say, okay, that's you, there's an edge device that's coming to the VPN, and they're saying request. There's, so, risk, as I said, risk is evaluated every time. It's a dynamic routing. The access control approval happens. They give you the data. There's a sample, an API call. The user trust is established. Device trust is established. You, uh, a user trust is established. Risk is evaluated, and then dynamic routing will let you to the application. High trust level, yes, you go. Right, low trust, drag, drag internet access for your request. So you will not route them into anything of internal sites that are more sensitive to your application. So I mean, I can just say some stats. Where do customers stand with zero trust today? Right? Some are saying we are planning to implement in S22. This is the data we collected from ESG uh, as a, uh, an analyst a uh, few months ago. Six percent are planning to implement. Twenty-six are implemented and began implementing specific use cases. Sixty-nine implemented began to implement broadly. So there is adoption happening. There will be more and more adoption. See, traditional firewall will not go away right away. Right? So traditional firewall, that's why this is one. And that's what we're saying. Firewall becomes critical for zero trust. This is another data that we collected from ESG. National firewall, 44% uh, are they use for only certain use cases. And then see this line here. They are saying next generation firewall is an important part of ZKNA or zero trust offering. Right, you need to essentially use for zero trust. Next in power, what is the question? So, what, what, how does Sonic Wall, what did Sonic Wall do differently in this case? What we did is with Sonic Wall 7.1.2, we did a key turn integration with Sonic Wall Secure Edge. 
What it means is client plus or client plus depending. Whether you're running a client on their laptop or your endpoint, or do you don't have any client. So I, uh, your firewall became a secure uh, 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 gateway, gateway to the cloud edge, right? Um, and so you already have a firewall deployed. If you already have a firewall, all you need to do is upgrade the code and buy the CSC license, and you are you're ready to go. It's a hardware VM or a hardware connected to enterprise. So our uh, NSV, whether you're running a uh, PZ or you're running an NSA, it doesn't matter. Every any, any Gen 7 firewall that can can be upgraded to 712, and you are you are ready to go with uh, cloud secure. All you have to do is enable this button and accept, and there you go. It becomes the termination point. But it, it does all the back end work. It creates the tunnel from your endpoint and terminating on your firewall and routing your routing through cloud security. And then, yeah, and then uh, using, it's a potential SME 100 replacement for us. This is internal to us, right? So firewall as a security to edge connector. Firewall becomes the connector for cloud secure edge. Questions? That's all I have.